What's up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with another Skyrim build. Today's build is called Meridia's Nightingale. This build was suggested by Lightning Guardian 331 and uh, I'm looking forward to this build because it combines my favorite Daedrid Prince, Meridia, with uh, my favorite set of light armor in the game, the Nightingale set. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this build too. Um, this build is a Bosmer or Wood Elf. This build has some backstory, which is he is Meridia's Nightingale. He is chosen agent of both Meridia and Nocturnal. But how did two opposite Daedrics make one person their agent Agent is unknown. He lives in the shadows but strikes as a blinding light. Anyone who crosses his path only sees a flash of light coming out of the shadows. Um, so for this build, the backstory for this character before he is caught crossing the border in Skyrim is kind of up to you. The backstory really starts where he is the champion of both Meridia and Nocturnal, which are two Daedric Princes, and it kind of be up to discussion if he was a champion before, and then when he got caught, he had to go through tests again to be the champion um, once again. Uh, but that's just kind of up to you. So this backstory is kind of more of your choice than uh, really what I have to say. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the skills that you'll be using. And the skills, there is some that you don't have to use that are not um, mandatory, but optional if you really want to play it like that. So the main skills are one-handed, archery, light armor, and sneak. And the optional skills you can use is enchanting and illusion. So one-handed, you'll be using dual wield with a nightingale blade and Meridia's Dawnbreaker. This kind of combines the two Daedric Princes together and uh, kind of use both and kind of show that you're both champions. Archery is for using the Nightingale Bow and Oriole's Bow, uh, which kind of goes in with Meridia's whole thing of killing the undead with Oriole's Light. Light armor is used to uh, make sure your light armor is pretty good since you'll be using the Nightingale set. And Sneak is pretty obvious since you are going to be an agent of Nocturnal, Nocturnal being the Pregent Saint of Thieves, so you want to be able to sneak around. So for Illusion and Enchanting, the reason I put these skills is that Illusion, you can use Invisibility as a way to sneak around and strike from the shadows. As well as Enchanting is kind of good if you go up the right side of the tree to get Soul Squeezer and Soul Siphon. Since you will not be enchanting very much items, since all of your items are already enchanted, but you'll use Enchanted Weapons. So using these perks will allow you to uh, squeeze out your Soul Gems, that way you don't have to um, recharge your weapon so often and when the charges go away you can use your soul gems they kind of go farther so you get a little bit more bang for your buck. So I kind of talk about the weapon armor but I'll just go over them right now. The armor set you'll be using is the Nightingale set. The weapons that you'll also be using are the Nightingale blade and the Nightingale bow as well as the Dawnbreaker, the sword, and the Oriole's bow. Um, it kind of is a mix so pretty much you kind of just depend on what um, enemy you're facing and what would be the most potent thing to fight them. If you're fighting the undead, maybe use um, Dawnbreaker or Oriole's bow. Um, since you'll be dual wielding Nightingale Blade and Dawnbreaker, you don't really have to choose, but it's mostly for the bows. I also kind of roleplay it with using Ebony um, arrows for only the Nightingale bow and then only the Sun Hollow arrows for Oriole's bow. Um, also, Oriole's bow is part of the Dawn Guard DLC, so if you don't have that, Maybe use a different bow with some fire enchantment, would kind of take its place. For spells, uh, you need a healing spell to keep yourself alive. Also, invisibility if you really want to go down that route. And shouts are not really an important part of this build since you're kind of roleplaying as a Daedric Princess champion. Uh, but any of the shouts you can really think of or any shouts you really need would work. But keep in mind Elemental Fury, which is a shout that makes it so your dual wielding attacks can even go faster. Um, won't work since you have enchanted weapons. So the stats in the stone that you'll be using for this build um, are kind of uh, normal I guess you could say. The stats, you want to have a big chunk of health. If you're not going with illusion and you're not going to be using visibility, you don't really need any magicka. So it's kind of up to you. If you want to use illusion, make sure you get a big uh, magicka pool, probably about of uh, 150 to 200. And then for stamina, you probably want to do the same of having 150 to about 250 for stamina depending on how many power attacks you really do it's kind of just up to you and how comfortable you feel with the stats also for the standing stone make sure to pick the shadow stone because it kind of fits in to your gameplay by going invisible and uh yeah that's kind of it for the stats and standing stone and all that junk let's we'll talk about the gameplay a little bit um it's kind of obvious you'll be dual wielding two swords a nightingale blade and dawnbreaker 
and you'll be able to sneak around and you kind of want to strike from the shadows. Um, it does kind of uh, redundant or it doesn't really make sense that you are striking from the shadows with like light based weapons but it's kind of the cool thing that you kind of both shadow the darkness and the light. Um, so I think it's really cool the roleplay is that and I feel like your character um, wouldn't really speak very much. He is quiet and he just kind of goes about what he's bidding of his Daedric Princess may be. And for Meridia, it's mostly to take out all undead, um, all vampires, werewolves, all abominations. And for Nocturnal, it's kind of just doing what her bidding is. Um, and she's just kind of the luck uh, patron for thieves. So maybe join a thieves guild or something like that to get her blessing, which I guess you automatically have to to be able to get her weapons. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you want your build to be uh, featured on one of these videos, make sure to leave a suggestion down below in the comments. And once again, thank you Lightning Guardian 331 for your suggestion. And uh, also, if you haven't checked out these two videos here, uh, I'll leave links to those in the description as well as on the screen here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Clayton, signing out.